Hello everyone, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I am really thrilled to have you here with me today to share a great beauty secret that I have with you and that is the fact that I use Cureology. And this is kind of an unsung hero for me. In fact, I kind of take it for granted and I really shouldn't. And I was so glad that Cureology reached out to me and asked me to partner with them on this video to show you the Cureology system and to show you what part it plays in my PM skincare routine because it really is amazing and I actually have some before and after pictures for you from the Curology website because once you sign up for the Curology program they ask you to upload your before pictures in there and you take a little quick quiz to let them know what you want to do with your skin whether that's acne or anti-aging something like that hyperpigmentation that's a big one for me and then they custom design your own skincare preparation even including tretinoin and it is a great very inexpensive way to get your tretinoin ladies if that's the path that you're on. And if you're not yet a member of the 50 Plus Beauty family, I hope you'll subscribe and click that little bell and possibly share this video with a friend. That would be great. Okay, let's get down to this. And in just a few minutes, I'll be taking off all this makeup and showing you step-by-step -step through my PM skincare routine. But first, I'd like to take you to the Curology website because really, Curology is the cornerstone of how I keep my skin pretty nice, I think, for my age. And let's take a look at that website. It says a custom bottle for your wrinkles and no one else's. And actually that's a flipping thing that says for your acne, your hyperpigmentation, that kind of thing. So really it's customized skincare. And I will say that if you'd like to try out the Curology program, just follow my link below and it will be only $4.95 shipping for the first month. Your first month is actually free except for that minimal amount for the shipping. And if you've been thinking about giving Curology a try, I absolutely love it and I can recommend it wholeheartedly to you. And in just a few moments, again, I'll be showing you those pictures of my results, which before I did this video, I'd even forgotten that I'd uploaded pictures on their website. And so I went ahead and took more pictures without makeup this morning and I'm going to compare them for you online here on the Curology website. And once you sign up for the Curology program, the first thing you do is you go to their website and take a little five minute skincare quiz to tell the providers there what are your goals and objectives in terms of your skin, whether that's anti-aging, fighting acne, that kind of thing. And I will say for me, acne is a thing of the past as of about age 50. But when I was younger, I suffered with it horribly. And those of you who have acne now or had acne in the past, it is a horrible thing to walk around with blemishes all over your face as I did. And really, I wish the Curology folks had been around before because in just a few moments, I'm going to show you their before and after results, just a couple of them. But it is amazing what this system can do for acne. So first, again, you take the skincare quiz, they tell you the formula that they would recommend for you, and then you upload your pictures and get started. And every few months, you can re-upload new pictures and follow along your skincare progress. And the really neat thing is it is very reasonable in price. I think it's about $30 for their complete kit, and I'll show you that in just a few moments. But again, you start out with a free kit for the first month with just paying $4.95 shipping, which is really wonderful. And the Curology program is really amazing because you don't have to pay doctor's office visits, co-pays, and you don't have to go out and buy prescription tretinoin or hydroquinone or acne medications basically through working with your dermatologist provider. And for me, that is a nurse practitioner named Jennifer. And another great thing about this program is at any time, if you have questions about your skincare, they are just an email away. So you can get your questions answered as you go, again, without paying a doctor for that information. Okay, let's take a look at the Curology kit. And here it is, it comes in the mail every 30 days. It's a cute little box. It says, Invincible Skincare Starts Here. And then it has a little blue card here that says Curology in the front. And it says, love your skin every day. And it talks about what comes in the kit, which is a cleanser, a custom formula, which is totally customized for you. And that formula is what contains my tretinoin, my prescription ingredient there. And then third, it gives you a good moisturizer. And then they also give you just another little pamphlet here and explains all the various ingredients that can come in your prescription bottle and what they do for your skin. That is really good to have if you forget what your active ingredients do. And here is the little envelope inside. It says your skincare goals achieved. And then you have three little bottles in here. Let me pour them out here. The first is the Curology Cleanser. And this is a very, very nice mild cleanser you use this morning and evening. And then the second thing is your prescription skincare. And this bottle is what packs a tremendous punch. 
Here are the three ingredients that I have in my particular prescription. Yours may be different. The first is niacinamide, and it is 4% niacinamide. And niacinamide is a wonderful overall skin brightener. It helps reduce hyperpigmentation, which is one of my problems that I have. And the second ingredient is 5% tranexamic acid. And again, tranexamic acid is wonderful at fighting dark spots, age spots, hyperpigmentation. And I actually have a video that I did on my channel months ago, and I'll link it below. But basically, it shows you my great results I had on my hyperpigmentation using the Curology formula here. And the third and most important thing to me is tretinoin. And I use the 0.05% strength. I never intend to go up to the 1% strength. I have been reading studies about this because I'm so fascinated with tretinoin. And what they say, and even Dr. Dre agrees with this on her channel, is that it doesn't matter what strength you use. You can use the 0.25, which is a very marginal strength, the 0.5, the 1%, and Curology even has a higher strength than the 1%, but it doesn't matter what strength you use according to the studies. Basically, if you use a lesser strength tretinoin, it just takes you longer to get there. And once you get there at the end of the year, all three strengths produce about the same results. And I personally will always stay at the 0.5% strength because I tend to get really irritated when I go higher than that. Plus, this really is a medication. And as with any medication, you want to use the lowest possible strength that gets you the results that you want. And I really think that over the last three or four years I've used the tretinoin, I've gotten really fabulous results. And the last thing in the kit is a nice gentle moisturizer. And you use this morning and evening and this just hydrates the skin. I don't happen to use this because I use another moisturizer, but if you're not using a moisturizer, you really do need to use one. And I know that from personal experience because for the past five or six months, I have been, of course, on the Curology program, but I've also been using a lot of Abaji skincare products, and I've liked those, but I was not using a moisturizer because when I was younger, I had very oily skin, and I don't like the feeling sometimes of moisturizer on my skin. And after three or four months of using no moisturizer, I looked in my rear view mirror in the car and went, oh my God, I'm a wrinkled old woman. I had a lot of wrinkles under here, which I always do have crow's feet, that's for sure. But I had tons of wrinkles in here and I don't know if you can see them, but I've just started using the moisturizer again in the last few days because moisturizers are really, really important. And this morning I was watching YouTube videos from Dr. Dre and she really reiterates this, that we all need a moisturizer no matter our skin type. And there must be a hundred or so before and after pictures on the Curology site. And the vast majority of them are acne, I have to say, probably because younger women are used to taking pictures of themselves and having it out there. And unless you're an influencer, most people don't like to be seen sans makeup. And one thing I have to say care in general is that it takes time to produce these changes in your skin because at the minimum, it takes six months to start producing real changes in your skin. I kind of laugh when I go to Amazon and see reviews where people say, I've used it a week and I already look 10 years younger. Well, maybe the moisturizer helped kind of disguise those lines, but believe me, they're still there. It takes three to six months to start seeing changes and then it can take up to a year to see the final results. And they call it a skincare regimen because you're supposed to take care of your skin every day consistently and over time you should produce good results. And speaking of results, I hadn't intended to show you any before and after pictures about this because I haven't taken them here in the studio for this program because Curology is just such a normal part of what I do. But when I went to the website this morning, I realized that back in March, March of 2020, I went ahead and uploaded some skincare photos. And so I thought it would be fun to take some more pictures this morning, some after pictures, and that would be March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, six or seven months. I'm not sure my math is not very good. Well, let's say six months and I'll show you those before and after pictures. I do need to preface this though by saying I also use other products. I use some Obagi products. I use a CeraVe moisturizer, but most importantly to me, I'm using that Curology prescription bottle, which is the tretinoin for anti-wrinkling, anti-aging, and it's the niacinamide and tranexamic acid for hyperpigmentation. So with that being said, let me show you my before and afters. Okay, on the left-hand side, you can see my picture six months ago. And on the right are the pictures just this morning. And you will have to form your own judgment, but I'm kind of thinking the changes are good. 
In the top right picture, as you can tell, my nasal folds are just deeper than they are on the left side in the photo that I took this morning. Also, in terms of the overall tone of my face, it just doesn't look as fine as it does in the after picture. It looks like things have tightened up somewhat in the after picture. And as you can see in the full face before picture, the cheeks just look kind of fat and they lack firmness. And in the after picture, things have again toned up. And even my nose looks different. In the before picture, it looks a little wider. Certainly the tip looks wider. And then in the after picture, the nose has slimmed down some. And I will say that part of that could be my face exercise or my face yoga that I've been doing, especially with regard to the nose. I do an exercise that narrows the tip of my nose. And as you can see in the picture here, it is really, really working. Now let's take a look at the right side. I just showed you one of the sides because they're rather similar. But again, in the before picture six months ago, the nasal fold just looks a little bit deeper. And on the right, it is not quite so visible and not quite so deep. And again, when you're looking at the right side of my face, the skin just doesn't look as firm as it does in the after picture. In the after picture, I am thinking that my skin just looks tighter and firmer. And in terms of the look of the pores, it looks like the pores might look a little smaller in the after picture. But you will have to form your own opinions of that because it's pretty subjective and it's hard to get everything looking the same in terms of lighting, positioning, that kind of thing. Okay, that's enough talking about the Curology program. Let's see it in action in my PM skincare. Okay, I'm ready to apply my PM skincare and I'll take you through the whole thing. And I keep it in this little skincare pouch here, this little zippered pouch. It's really not for skincare, but I made it into that because I have a pretty complicated skincare regime. Well, I wouldn't say complicated. I would just say that I have quite a few steps here. And if you're just getting into skincare, one thing about Curology that is wonderful is you don't have to add a whole bunch of other steps. Basically, they give you the moisturizer, they give you the treatment bottle that has up to three different active skincare ingredients, primarily for either acne or anti-aging. And then the last step is a moisturizer. So you don't have to use all of the things that I do. Curology makes it really simple and effective for you. Okay, this is a look inside my little skincare kit here. And these are the products that I use for AM and PM. And so I'll go ahead and start. Now, the first product that I use is actually... Oh, that was no fun. Well, at least nothing broke. Here we go again. I've got it pulled together. Okay, as I mentioned, the first step is coconut oil. And this is just for me, or if you have any scars on your face. Let's see, which side is it on? Is that my scar? Yes, that's my scar. And I just take a little bit of that coconut oil, warm it up on a finger. The plastic surgeon that revised this little incision on my face which was for what they thought was Mohs for skin cancer, but it turned out not to be skin cancer, but I did need to have it removed. He said, whenever you have a scar on your face or a scar anywhere on your body, just take your third finger and some oil and just do little circular motions on top of the scar and that it blends it in. And it really has blended it in, which is just wonderful. It is no fun having a scar on one's face. And I really don't even notice it anymore. I can't believe that because the first year of healing was absolutely horrible to get through. Okay, the first real skincare step is cleanser. And I've been using this Curology cleanser. It is a nice, gentle, mild cleanser. I'm not too much into having active ingredients in the cleanser. I don't think it really matters, just as long as the cleanser is mild and doesn't cause irritation. I'm going to get a little water on a washcloth. And this is the grubbiest washcloth known to man. Sorry about that. I buy these cheapy little washcloths at Walmart. In fact, I did a video about them. I love them. Um, they're white, and so they get kind of stained over time. They're $3.97 for 12. And so I really just need to replace them. And I put a hole in each one of them. There you go. Because I keep these under my sink. Actually, not the ones that I use to wash my face, but I keep one under the sink to where whenever I get water in the sink, I can just reach under the sink and get a washcloth off the little hook and clean out my sink. Okay, there's that cleanser. Let me rinse it off. Okay, all nice and clean. Now my next step is using toner and I've been using this Obagi Skin Care Toner. I'm going to go ahead and put some on a little cotton round here. Here we go. That's how that looks. I don't use a lot of it because I don't need a lot and it is expensive. So you want to preserve it as much as possible. And I guess you should go upward, make upward strokes. 
I always forget that. And I always wash and tone my face and neck. And there was a little bit of makeup left on that, but not too much. Now, the next step in my PM skincare routine, I've been using this Obagi New Derm Clear, or number three. And I'll just put some of that on my finger, about a pea-sized drop there. And then you just rub that together, put it all over your face. This just helps with pigmentation. There we go, there's that step. Next, I go into my Obagi Blender, and I mix that with my Curology. And if you just are using tretinoin, you would just mix this blender with tretinoin. And this is my little treatment bottle. And as you can see, it's kind of grungy because I do use it. It contains my 0.05% tretinoin and the other two actives that I mentioned before, the niacinamide for brightening and the tranexamic acid for pigmentation too. And I'll go ahead and use a pea-sized drop here of this, maybe a little bit more than that. I always use just a little bit more than a pea because I figure if you're just using tretinoin, you use a pea size, but this treatment bottle has two other actives in it. So I do just a little bit more than a pea, and that doesn't give me excessive peeling or anything like that. Although I have to say, I have been peeling a lot lately. And in those before and after pictures, I had some peeling because I was trying a, a different product, a different vitamin C serum. Actually, the SkinCeuticals one, which is horribly expensive, and it's been making me peel like crazy, which I don't like too much. So the jury is still out on that product. Now, the next step of my skincare is actually applying my hormone creams on my neck. And I really want to caution you on this, that these were prescribed by my OBGYN and I need them for hormones. And I did order these from Amazon, but I took them into my doctor and he looked at them and the dosages and he said they were just fine. But again, this is really medicine, not skincare. So please don't go out and get this unless your OBGYN says that you need these. And it's funny, I have them both in my estrogen bottles, but one is estrogen and one is progesterone. These small little bottles fit in my case better. And I'll tell you which is which when I open them. Okay, that is my progesterone. I can tell because it's white. And I take just a little bit of that. Actually, it's supposedly a quarter teaspoon. Put it on my neck. Now I'm going to get my estrogen and I take a half teaspoon of that, so I just get a little more of that. I just kind of eyeball it, and then I put that all over there. And I do have a tip on applying anything on your neck that I think is really helping my neck, slowly but surely. It is this little bagua stone, and you just run it up and down your neck while well, you run it up your neck. Because I have found over time that I think it makes my neck smoother to give my neck a little bit of a massage. And there are YouTube videos about facial massage and they do this and they seem to think it works. And uh, I, I do think it works. I think it helps smooth out my neck, although I am 60 plus. So, you know, my neck is never gonna be probably perfect. Plus it feels good. Now, the last step in my skincare routine is the CeraVe PM Facial Moisturizing Lotion. And I do use the AM version in the morning because it contains sunblock. And this contains niacinamide again and ceramides. And the ceramides really help protect the skin's acid mantle and really help the skin in terms of staying hydrated and moisturized. And I stopped using this for about three or four months. But then I was looking in my rear view mirror one day and I went, ah! Oh, where are all those wrinkles? I had wrinkles down through here, a lot of wrinkles under my eyes, which I always have those, but these were kind of new. And I realized that I really did need to be using a moisturizer. So that is my PM skincare routine. I just go to bed at this point and let everything soak in. Normally I do apply a lash serum and a brow serum. However, I'm going to save that for you. I'm gonna keep that as a surprise because I'm really liking the results and I'm going to do a dedicated video about those products because I really think they're helping. So I won't tell you right now, a girl has to have some mystery. Well, that was a look at my PM skincare starring Curology, I would have to say. And it's so funny because in the last video I did for Curology, they reached out to me and offered to pay me to do that video. And at that time I said, hey, I don't want to be paid in money. I want to be paid in months of your skincare program because I am that committed to the Curology program and I believe in it so much. And if you're not yet a subscriber to the 50 Plus Beauty family, I hope you subscribe, click that little bell, and or share this video with a friend. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day, and I've been reading from these Miracles Now cards from Gabrielle Bernstein, 
and let's go ahead and choose a card, hopefully something that will apply to both of our lives for today. Ooh, that is good. My eyes will see what I desire. My eyes will see what I desire. You know, I really do like that card, and it goes along with something that I've been trying to do today, and that is to find joy. In other words, I want to look around me and find the joy rather than the pain in life because with everything we're all going through lately, there is a lot of pain in life sometimes, but there is also a lot of joy. And as I have mentioned on my channel before, I tend to fight low-level depression. I really think I was kind of born with it, low dopamine, serotonin, and so I'm always just kind of fighting this feeling. You know, it's not major depression, but it's just kind of a oh, is that all there is? Or for some reason, I'm not quite happy about things. And I've read a couple of books about this and I've been following one program in particular. And that book gave me some good tips and helped me somewhat. But I realized this morning that our eyes will see what we desire and that I desire joy. And what I've been doing today has really been making me happier and certainly it's helping fill my life with more joy. And so what I do is as I go through my day, I really try to look for the things that bring me joy. For instance, just looking at this setup here, I've got a couple of lights here, I've got a camera here, it does bring me joy that I have a YouTube channel. And sometimes I forget to feel positive about that. And another thing that brought me joy this morning was as I was walking through my kitchen, it was all nice and clean. And I thought, you know, having a clean kitchen just brings me joy. It makes me happy. I did the same with my made bed this morning. I went, you know, that makes me feel so good. I looked outside to the backyard and the grass was so green and the beautiful trees were turning orange and red. And I thought, that brings me joy. And it's funny, but our eyes tend to see what we desire and our eyes also tend to see what we look for. And so friends, just for today, as we go through our days, let's look around to see where we can find joy. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.